Hey guys, Tarkat here, and since 3.7 is just around the corner, I thought now was the perfect time to update the most important series on my channel. Of course, the IRL MTX series. Uh, this is the thing I've been doing on and off uh, for about a year now. Uh, where basically, I just talk about clothes, and there is a playlist, funnily enough. And this is just because some of my viewers are into clothes, and one of my biggest hobbies outside of streaming and YouTubing is clothes. I really like clothes. If you don't like clothes, don't watch this video. If you like clothes, then I'm just basically going to talk about everything that I've kind of come to at this point, how I've kind of established my wardrobe, uh, stuff that I feel comfortable in, and what I'm basically going to be wearing in the spring slash summer. Because, yeah, it takes a while to find stuff that you feel comfortable in. And if you like clothes, great. And if you're like, oh, I don't really know the point of clothes, you generally feel more confident about yourself, which makes you feel better about yourself. And generally feeling better about yourself is good. So yeah, so what did I do? I've established a list of everything that I own, and I also like made this kind of curated collection of things. There's this app called Depop people use to buy and sell clothes. I've said that I would eventually sell a bunch of my clothes I don't wear anymore. I haven't done that yet, but I have got an account and I've liked a bunch of things. So if you're kind of like, oh, block Target, I like some things you've seen here and I want to buy them. You can, these aren't mine, these are other people's, but you could go like get an idea of the price in your head and kind of like how much this shit costs. I mostly buy sales and secondhand. Um, I've also been trying to do a whole ethical thing with clothes recently. I try not to buy stuff which was made by children. Um, yeah, it's a whole thing. So let's get into the actual clothes. So what did I do? I, I, I made a very nice organized picture and I've broken this down into, as you can see here, sections. And this isn't a picture of everything, everything I've owned, but this is basically everything that I'm wearing at the moment and kind of what's going to be seen on me in the next few months. It's also a good way my girlfriend has a go at me for buying too many clothes. There are a few things in here that the girlfriend doesn't recognise. I'm sure I'll get shouted at. But it means that when I see her next, she can be like, I didn't see that in that video. You've been shopping. So I'm going to start with the shoes. And as we go through this, I'm going to go through my thought process and how you like match things together and all of that stuff. So, shoes are the kingpin, in my opinion. And I really do like trainers, and I really do like sneakers, but I mostly wear Dr. Martens. Um, this is a brown pair. Uh, this was a fairly recent pickup, and this was, like, some special collab thing, and it's, like, made in England. And it's just really nice. It's got, like, a proper leather to it. It marks and scuffs really easily. But I kind of like that, and uh, I didn't really have a brown shoe. And I think the core, like, minimum essential you really need is a brown shoe, a black shoe, and then, like, a whitish shoe. More than that is great, but really just those are the, the basics. But, yeah, it's a Dr. Mudd and Low 1461. It's brown. I like it. Uh, these are, like, my everyday. I wear these every single day and have worn these every single day since I got them in Christmas. I bought actually bought them off that app. These are usually really expensive. These are usually, like, 100-ish quid brand new. I believe I paid 50 for these, and it was a guy had been uh, given a pair for Christmas that he didn't want, so he was like, shit, what will I do? I know I'll sell it on the app, and I was just, like, tracking these shoes, and then I saw it, and I bought it. That's one thing which is kind of good about it, is it's like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm looking for a particular thing. You can just, like, constantly update for that particular thing. There are loads of different apps you can use. This isn't sponsored or anything. There's a thing called Shop Tagger, where if you're, like, tracking sales in stores, you can use that. But anyway... These are my favorite pair of shoes. I wear them all the time. They go with everything. Uh, the good thing about them is they're practical. Um, so they're very hard wearing, but you can also dress them up if you need to go somewhere fancy. And they're also fairly casual and they're just cool. Also, I like changing my laces to match the stitching because I'm really lame, but these normally come with black laces. This is a new shoe. This is Grill's going to be angry at me for this. To be fair though, I've been looking at these. These are Reebok Club C85s, I believe. Uh, vintage, that's why they've got that slightly off colouring to them. I've been looking at these for about a year, and I've really wanted these for a long time, and then I got these uh, discounted. Uh, they're only like 60 quid brand new, I think I paid 40 for them, and I had a uh, really chunky pair of cream um, shoes, but those are like my go-to like uh, running shoes and like walking shoes and stuff. I say running, I tried running once, and I got really bad stitch. These are my go-to like walking shoes. So these are like my these are like my uh, cool, like not bash up shoes. And then my other ones are kind of like the ones that get mucky. Like if I'm going for a walk in the park or whatever. But anyway, I really like these. I also I wear a lot of green and these are really cool because they've got the tiny little green uh, accents in them. 
so it means that you can like match them through the rest of your wardrobe. They've also got a little bit of red and blue. I don't really wear much red, or, um, but yeah, that's stuff to think with. And the fact that these aren't white as well is another thing I really like about these because these look. If you keep them at this kind of level of cleanliness, they look. They look clean, but they don't look brand new. I don't like the like perfect, like pristine, beautiful, like white Air Force ones. It just seems weird to me. So the fact that these look kind of aged, even though these are relatively new, is a win. And then also when these do get beat up, it's less obvious with an all white sneaker. Um, and I think these all look really cool all beat up as well. So I'm going to try and keep these as clean as possible, but it's not the end of the world if they do get scuffed. Uh, and these are really cool. I've had these for a while and uh, I actually got these in sale during the winter. I haven't worn them that much because they're suede and I'm really paranoid with suede. I've sprayed them with like a suede protector and everything. Um, but they're really cool. They're camper, I believe. Um, and I think I paid like 30 quid for these or something. These were these were really fucking cool. I really like these. And I started wearing them a lot more recently. Another reason why I've done this video is it made me really sort through my wardrobe. And it's good to sort through your wardrobe regularly. So if you haven't recently sorted through your wardrobe, I'd recommend sorting through your wardrobe. Because it makes you think of like cool things. But yeah. So these are basically the four shoes that I'm working with. And then... As I'm going through other things, you can kind of see how they sort of match together. But basically a black, a brown, a white-ish, and then like a green with a grey. with a little peaking of orange in the back there. So I generally plan everything around my shoes and then my jackets. Um, I'll go to jackets next. But keep in mind that the weather is kind of weird at the moment. Since UK summer, spring is kind of like really hot, then like rain, and then like really chilly. Um, so I think it's basically important to just have lightweight jackets on you in like a bag or something. So you go and just like a t-shirt or a shirt and then if it's cold, you can put the jacket on. So all of these are very lightweight and very breathable. Um, this I picked up in the sales from Uniglo and this was like 20 quid. And this is actually a really nice breathable linen. I wear a lot of green. It's really nice. It actually goes quite nicely with these shoes here that I showed you. And it goes with everything else. And the detail shot, boom, it's got a bit of a turtle shell, which actually goes with my glasses. So that's just a funny little, like, pew, pew. if you want to be super matchy, matchy, matchy glasses to your buttons. But yeah, it's green, it's light, it's breathable. It's very sort of workwear, uh, minimal vibes. That's my main sort of thing. I've gone for, like, looser silhouettes, looser cuts, relaxed, but kind of, like, clean, presentable, relaxed, rather than, like, super slobby relaxed. Um, I then have this. This is a really thick corduroy shirt, which I bought like five, or, I think longer. I've had this in my wardrobe for years and years and years, but I really like it. And it's so thick that you can't wear it as a shirt. You just wear it uh, over like a white t-shirt and it looks crisp. And the other thing which is really nice about this, and this is something that I like to do because I'm lame. A lot of the brands that I really like have yellow as part of their branding. Um, so this is a Farah shirt and they have the stitching. You can see it a bit closer. They have this yellow Farah stitching here. So if you're like me and you're really lame, you then purposely match a bunch of brands which all have these yellow stitching and details. And it's really subtle and no one notices it but you, but it just feels good. So yeah, these would go uh, really nicely with either of these two shoes. Uh, it could even go with the white ones because of green with green. Uh, but yeah, I mostly do docks with this because of that yellow on yellow because I'm cool. Uh, this was a, a Columbia, like really old um, sort of windbreaker rain jacket that I've got off Depop. And it was really cheap. It was like 15 quid or something. Um, and the thing which is really good about this and one thing I need to talk about, which I haven't yet. So I have quite a strict color palette. Um, I've expanded it a bit. My color palette used to only be black. I used to only I used to be that guy who would only wear black. Uh, and then I was like, okay, let's try and work some colors in because, you know, there are more colors than well than black. Uh, number one tip if you're someone who only wears black, gray jeans. Gray jeans are amazing. For some reason, not enough people wear gray jeans. But yeah, buy a pair of gray jeans. But anyway, so I then started going, okay, you're then going to wear a lot of green. And then I, was used, I used to only wear blacks and greens, blacks and greens. Then when I started dating my girlfriend, um, she got me really into yellows and oranges um and then this jacket i found it and it's perfect because it's got it's like a turquoisey greeny color it's got this like nice sort of browny mustard it's got bits of reds in there and it's also got some purple on the drawstrings um and it just means that it it works with everything i own and it means that i can play around with different colors so i can wear stuff with red so this jacket would go really well with this for example you've got the red the green the blue and then you're getting all these different colors in and then that 
badge and that. It kind of all... Ooh. And yeah, if you're like, you read it and what to do, if you stick to like one color palette and you try and buy just in that one color palette, then slowly expand it out. It's very easy to group things together, even if you have no idea what the hell you're doing. So getting back into the jackets there, it's just a little close up of the little badge there. But yeah, Windbreakers, mm, Chris. Uh, this is a really cool pinstripe, I think they call it Hickory Stripe, yeah, Hickory Stripe, uh, Stan Ray, um, chore jacket. You'll notice that a lot of the jackets I own are this kind of shape, the two front pockets. Again, uh, really, really breathable, but also quite durable. It's like a really tough linen uh, kind of fabric. Um, and I really like it. The one thing, if I had to complain about it, is it has these like copper buttons that I've actually sanded a little bit. Um, just to make them slightly less shiny. I wear a lot of silver. Well, I only wear silver. Um, and ideally, I like it when all my metals match. And I'm the only person who gets bothered when like buttons on jackets don't match perfectly. But yeah, that's also another thing to maybe think about. Do your buttons match? I'm very particular about this sort of stuff. So yeah, but I really like this. And I've also expanded a lot more into blue recently. So you know, so there's quite a lot of blue sort of coming up. And uh, yeah, it's again, it, Stan Ray, I didn't plan it, but they happen to use the same colours as Dr. Marden and everything. So again, it's the black, the yellow. So that, with that, crisp. Although, to be honest, brown works better with blue. So you wear this with a pair of like blue jeans, these shoes, white t-shirt underneath, crisp, a pair of like white or blue socks. Mm, groovy, dude. Uh, this is a black moleskin uh, jacket. Moleskin isn't actually the skin of moles. It's just the name of a hard-wearing fabric. Uh, you can't see it too clearly in this picture. It's quite dark. But again, two front pockets, pocket here. See it a bit clearer here. And this is a French brand called Le Laborer or something. It's meant to be this like, super old-school brand. Again, I got this on Depop. It was a bit of a steal. Um, they're like 100, 120 or something quid new. I think I paid... It was, I've had this jacket for a while. I think it was, I don't think I paid more than 50. I think it was maybe like 40. It's got a small, uh, like, scrape mark on the back, but I really like it. I really like this jacket. And uh, again, this is a bit on the heavier side. It's probably the heavier of all of these jackets you've seen. The lightest is the green one at the front, uh, then the pinstriped one, and then this one. Um, and again, it's one of those things where the other good thing about these kind of jackets is you can wear them year round. So now when it's getting really hot, you just wear them in the evening over a white t-shirt. But then when you get to like fall winter, you would wear this under a long coat. Um, and that way it might seem like I own a lot of clothes, but they're stuff that you can wear all year round. So if you just have one solid wardrobe, you can wear it all the time. You don't need to have to constantly be buying loads of shit. And if you buy stuff that you genuinely like from reputable brands, which are known to be hard wearing, which also aren't made by children, then you're not having to buy stuff year after year after year. And you can kind of be like, yeah, this is a thing. And most people don't have this thing and it looks cool. And you think it's cool. Like I'm like, hey, by the way, children, you know, uh, I mean, I don't know how ethical Columbia is, but like San Ray, for example, is like this family owned thing in the States. All their stuff's made in Portugal, Europe. If your stuff's made in Portugal, it's generally a good sign, but anyway. So that's my jackets. Uh, now let's get into the, let's go into the trousers, because the t-shirts and the shirts, if anything, I'd wear those jackets, and if nearly everything I'm done would just be like a plain white t-shirt or a colored t-shirt matching that. So I'm going to get into the trousers now, since you'll go shoes, jackets, trousers, and then everything else is kind of, I would pick to complement the other stuff. So I do really like Carhartt. I feel like Carhartt, Carhartt are a bit too popular at the moment. I would like to try their like t-shirts and jumpers, but I, I can't justify the pricings. Their jeans, though, are actually really affordable. Um, so their jeans brand new are like 70 quid, which sounds like a lot. But for the hype they have and the quality they have, that's actually very reasonable for mid-range uh, brands. Keep in mind, these guys charge like 50 quid for a t-shirt, but they charge like 70 quid for a pair of jeans. It doesn't make sense to me, but their jeans are really good. Um, I stand by these. I've, I have two pairs of jeans, them one for ages, and I got them in sale. They were like 30, 40 quid each. So yeah, the other good thing about, um, if you know there's a brand that you like, and it's a brand which is this for a really long time, for example, like Levi's, for example, once you've worked out your fit, like your waist size and the cut you like, because all the different trousers will have a different like name. Um, once you've worked that out, 
then you can just look for that in sales, buy it when it's in sale, and then if you wear it in five years later, you just go for that same one again. So for example, a lot of people just wear Levi 501s. So if you're someone who only wears Levi 501s, then you just buy them whenever on the sale, it doesn't matter. Whereas if you're someone who only shops in like H&M or just whatever's on the high street, you might find a pair of jeans which fit you perfectly, but then three months later, they never sell those again, and you're like, oh, fuck me, dude. So yeah. So yeah, just a grey and blue pair, it's like a light blue. Uh, these are called a Newell pant, to anyone who's interested, and yeah, I paid like 40 quid each of them. They don't have this cool uh, warping effect in person, sadly. Uh, but yeah, really like them. And um, most of my uh, trousers are straight fit now. I used to be into like skinnier fits, but everything's relaxed, straight. It's just It just looks better. Most people should just wear straight fit stuff, to be honest. Uh, another pair of uh, Hickory uh, Stan Ray Boys. I would not wear this with the jacket at the same time. That would be very much an intense look. That that would be... Yeah, nah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I really like these. Uh, these are called the OG Painter Pants. Um, really nice. Really like them. Hang well. And yeah, they're like actual workwear stuff. So when I'm in the cat shelter and I'm volunteering, lifting up those heavy littered bags, I, I'm wearing my, you know, appropriated workwear gear. Feels good in the yeah. Uh, then my second pair of sand rays, I have two of them. Uh, this is a, they call it, I think they call it military green or whatever. Um, yes, I served, as you can tell from my beautiful pants. I really like these, but the other thing I really like about these is they've got a really nice, uh, like, cream stitching. It's not a white stitching, but it's like a cream stitching, which stands out just enough. And then you're like, oh, but Tarkin, unless you have, like, some not quite white cream shoes which would kind of go quite nicely with that stitching the green with the green is a bit mm, but you know it kind of works uh and but it's just like you wear that with like a cream shirt um or like cream socks and a black shoe with the black with the yellow and then a black jacket or like a black t-shirt black shoes cream socks Ooh, ooh, tasty uh, these are really cool these are by pilgrim this is a uk brand I really like their stuff. These are just like a pair of straight fit black trousers, which look like normal trousers. But if you turn them up, like if you roll up the leg, they've got these crazy print on the inside. So if you're feeling bold and you want to be flexing, then you can turn it up. But if you're not, if you're like, nah, I'm not feeling it. So you can just roll them down. They're just normal black trousers, which I think is really cool. Um, and yeah, this would just be like, because these are pretty mad. You'd wear these. With the docks, the yellow, with the yellow, black with the black, black socks, white t-shirt, or black t-shirt, chill. Like, super clean, super minimal outfit, but because of that and that, it then pops out. But yeah, that would just be, like, white t-shirt, this, black socks, done. And that's, like, a really nice, light, summer kind of fit, because these are really lightweight trousers. These are really good. That's quite similar. But you could also, if you wanted to be, like, matchy-matchy, you could wear a shirt which matched any one of these. You could wear like a turquoise shirt with black socks, black shoes. And that would be like matchy, but not too in your face matchy, matchy. I like doing like some color blocking stuff. But I feel like if you just go the exact like color palette, everything, then it just looks a bit weird. Um, I'm also a big fan of doing stuff like one shade above, one shade under. Um, so, for example, going back to... These also look really good with the uh, these trousers, by the way. But yeah. So going for this or the other shoe here. And then doing like a, a few different shades. So for example, this is a like charcoal -y shirt. With then like a slightly grayer shirt. With then black shorts. You can see there's, there's shades going on, right? We smart. We smart. And that way, again, if you're someone who's like normally only wears all black. And you're not feeling too comfortable... Or you could wear black, grey charcoal, and then it's like, ha uh ha. -huh. Or you just wear all black, but wash your shirt more than everything else, so it will fade, and eventually you'll have this oh lovely colour palette because not everything's just faded just right. Um, these are my only pair of suit trousers. Um, they're like a textured like wool sort of thing, and they're like a. That you can't see it too clearly here. I should have taken a better picture. But yeah, they're like black with a slight grey speckling them. These are like the smartest trousers I own. I've only worn them a few times just for like when I went for dinner once with Grail. And if I have to go to something fancy, I've got one smart pair of trousers. But they're still kind of cool and they're cropped quite high. Um, so they 
they finish on like quite high on the ankle without being rolled up. So yeah, something smart-ish. Would recommend having one smart pair of trousers in your wardrobe. Uh, this is a pair of brown corduroy. You can see it better here. I'm mental for corduroy. You'll notice a lot of corduroys generally in my wardrobe. And uh, yeah, I like brown a lot, actually. I think brown's a really cool color. Many people don't wear brown as well, which is weird because it's really safe, really neutral color, but people don't wear it very much. But yeah, these with these look fucking beautiful with then just like, again, cream shirt, cream socks or like white and white or anything. Black and brown can be a bit iffy sometimes, but yeah, love these, love these. They look beauts together. Then I have got a pair of like beige stony Levi cords. Uh, these are Levi 511s. I wish I didn't get these in 511s. Uh, this is, these are the, the like uh, skinniest uh, pair of trousers I own currently. I still have all my old stuff, but I've got it in storage and I've said that I'll either sell it or keep hold of it in case I randomly in a year's time decide I like skinny clothes again. But yeah, this is the, <laughs> these are a pair of trousers that I bought when I was like, shifting out of skinny stuff into wider stuff um so everything here is very straight cut very relaxed my suit trousers these are skinny ish but they're still quite wide on like the ankle but these right so 511s are their like skinny jean cut um so they're really skinny but then i got them in a size 34 waist and only wear a size 32 waist so i have to like really bunch the uh, these fit a bit weird. These fit a bit weird, but they look cool, and I wear them every now and again. But really, if I could snap my fingers, I would want a beige pair, like a stone beige pair of 501s in the exact same fabric, or just like denim. But yeah, these are the one thing in my wardrobe currently that I'm a bit like, mm. and I, of course, pay full like 70 quid for them. So, F, F. Right, let's get into the shirts next. Because uh, the t-shirts and obviously t-shirts are the least interesting. So, bog standard. This is the closest I have to a white shirt. I had a really weird thing with wearing white. I didn't like wearing white because I have a pretty shitty complexion. I've, I'm quite like a pinkish kind of colour. Um, and also because of Crohn's disease, my skin is often kind of shitty. My skin is particularly bad at the moment because I have an infusion on Tuesday. If you don't know, Crohn's, boring lifelong autoimmune disease. I have an infusion every eight because it knocks out my immune system. And about two weeks or so before each uh, infusion, my skin gets really bad. And then after the infusion, it takes about a week. And then my body sort of goes back to normal and my skin clears up a bit. But yeah, drink lots of water. Don't drink sodas. Sleep, moisturize, wash your face. Don't have infusions and you'll have beautiful, clear skin. Mm. The reason why that rant is already relevant and also why I don't wear much red because of my complexion if I also wear a red t-shirt, for example, red would exaggerate like the blemishes in my skin. So you know how if you wear like a t-shirt and someone around says, wow, that t-shirt really brings out the color in your eyes. If you had blue eyes and you're wearing like a bright blue t-shirt, it would bring out the blue in your eyes. And that's why that happens. So yeah, if you have really bad skin, for example, avoid wearing red in on your top half. You could still wear like red socks because red socks are cool. But yeah, don't wear that anywhere near your face. But yeah. This is like a slightly off-white-ish um, linen shirt. I like it. It's breathable. It's smart. It's called an Oxford shirt, all buttoned up and everything. But again, it's all of my shirts are slightly... I'm really like a medium, but I buy most things in a size large because I like that slightly relaxed fit. Uh, but yeah, this is the same shirt as that, but it's black. It looks kind of navy, but it is black. Uh, this is the shirt I'm wearing currently, uh, which is really more of a charcoal. I think this was black when I first got it, but I've had this uh, in my wardrobe for genuinely... I'm 26, I think I got it when I was like 17, so nearly 10 years. And it's just faded and faded and faded. But I actually really like it now, it's like a charcoal, and then the uh, buttons really pop, so I like it. And then it has this little like tag there, so I often just wear this open over something. But yeah, I really like this shirt. It's got a toothpaste stain there, which is which is always great. A lot of my shirts have random toothpaste stains on them because I'm very coordinated. But yeah, uh, this is a charcoaly bluey corduroy shirt. Uh, you can see the grays a lot more when you roll up the sleeves. I'll say roll up my sleeves on everything. I hate having long dangly sleeves. You'll notice most of my stuff is cuffed for that reason. And for some reason, I thought I needed a close-up shot. But you can see a bit clearly. This is more of a gray here. 
and um, this is what the colors really are but yeah corduroy i like having texture um the difference corduroy is the type of fabric if you don't know by the way it's the stripes going down but yeah just having that tiny bit of texture makes it a bit more interesting a bit more um you won't notice it from afar, but up close, it just makes your outfit look more expensive, more kind of like, ooh, nice, aha. Uh -huh. Whereas it's all really cheap shit, like mostly secondhand. This is an example. <laughs> That's a definite toothpaste stain. But yeah, this is a quite oversized, actually, just denim shirt. I really like this shirt. It looked a lot better before I dribbled on myself. Uh, would recommend not dribbling, um, but when it's worn open, you don't really notice it. And I've tried attacking the stain a few times. I'm probably going to look for a new denim shirt eventually. But I really like the buttons. I just like the way it hangs. And uh, this was like two quid in a charity shop. Thanks, mum. Mum goes to charity shops a lot and brings home random two home uh, two pound shirts for you. Toothpaste. Damn you. Brush your teeth, by the way, kids. Usually what I do is I have a rule where I, I, actually, I make myself brush my teeth naked. Because I don't trust myself to dribble. But then I like brushing my teeth before I leave the house. Um, so I often brush my teeth like three times a day. And uh, just just like stripping down every time you go to brush your teeth. I should just not dribble. Um, that's a close-up of the button. I don't know why I showed you a close-up of the button. Uh, this is a really nice, this is a fine striped corduroy shirt. Uh, this was like four quid off Depop. And uh, the thing which is really nice about the shirt, if we get into it, is the colours. So you don't notice it that much um, from here, but it's got so many different colours in it. They, they're they all within my colour palette. So um, it has some yellows in there, has some beiges in these kind of colours, has the browns, it has some greens, um, it has the blues, obviously. So because of that, you could wear that with my green trousers, you could wear it with my uh, scuffed Levi's. Um, the beige Levi's, you could wear it with just denim, uh, blue or grey. You could wear it with black trousers even, because of the buttons as well. And this will this matches with anything, so you could wear it fully buttoned up quite smart. Um, or you could uh, just wear it open like I'm here over a t-shirt and be kind of relaxed. Hella fuego. And it's corduroy, so it's extra crisp. Uh, this is a really cool shirt that, again, my mum picked up in a charity shop. Um, the fit on it is a bit weird, but it's crazy. And I love it. And again, it's got it's like got loads of stuff going on, but it's not too crazy that you're like, the fuck is that shirt? And it lets you have a lot of really cool options. So I have one pink pair of socks that I only wear with this shirt, and it's the exact pink. And this looks great uh, with a grey pair of jeans, pink socks, black dots. And the reason why, if you get into the close-up, it's got fucking yellow in it, dude. It also looks really nice uh, with my jacket. If we jump through the jacket skin real quick. It looks really nice with this jacket as well because of the turquoise and everything. And it just works, dude. It works so fucking well. But yeah, subtle color matching. And you want to be matching the small details, not the big details. If you match the small details, it work cleanly together, but it's not super matchy-matchy. So it's not like you're that guy who's got a pair of, like, red Jordans. So he wears the red Jordans with red jeans and a red leather jacket, because that looks like a dickhead, right? Whereas if you had, you know, a tiny little red badge somewhere in your clothing, and then you wore that with the red Jordans, then you're smart, kid, yeah? Uh, this is another shirt that I got off Depop. Uh, really cool. It's this girl who buys um, stuff secondhand. Um, and then she embroided, embroid, embroid, embroiders designs onto them. Um, it's meant to be like mistletoe or something. But I, it was meant to be like a, a festive Christmas shirt. I think that's what she was going for. But it doesn't look that festive to me. So I just wear it all year round. Um, and one thing I also like is she replaces all the buttons um, and then puts new buttons on with stitching which matches the design so this sort of originally probably had just boring black buttons or orange buttons to blend in with the burnt orange shirt uh, but then she replaced it with these really cool buttons with uh, like lime colored thread which matches this and that's something that i should probably get into is actually replacing the buttons on my shirts and it's just a fun idea um, so if you lose a shirt and a button don't be like oh no think it was like hang on I could get some cool thread and I could make a black shirt with maybe white buttons. And if you wore a lot of red, like the red Jordans, dude, you would then 
dude. Oh, that would look sick. Okay, so then you would stitch red thread, white. You'd stitch with red thread, white buttons onto a black shirt, which would go with the Jordans perfectly. <sighs> oh, that would be crisp. That would be crisp. But anyway. So you can kind of get my thought process on how everything kind of goes together. Small little details with the colours. Blend it all in. Have a fairly neutral wardrobe. And then you don't actually... It looks like I have a lot of clothes. And I do have a lot of clothes. But I don't actually have that many clothes for someone who likes clothes as much as I do. Um, as for the long sleeve t-shirts that I'm wearing um, this time of year. Uh, these are all uh, Uniglo. And as are nearly all of my t-shirts. But yeah, it's like a grey... I was tempted to get this in a white, but I was worried that I would ruin it because, as established, I'm not very good with dribbling. Um, or I'm very good at dribbling is the issue. Um, so, so, yeah, this is a grey. I picked this up uh, very recently because it was on sale. Um, then These are normally, like, 15 quid, I think, and this was, like, 9. And I've worn these two a lot. This is a black, and this is, like, an orangey kind of colour. I've worn these a lot, a lot, so I was like, I'll get a grey one because I don't have much grey. And that's also another thing I try and do. So when you approach your wardrobe and your colour palette the way that I do, you actually know what you're missing. Like, sure, you'll still buy things because of impulse, but you're like, oh, I haven't actually got a grey something. And then you you just keep that in the back of your head, and then eventually when you see it, you go, ah, I needed that. And then you plug the hole. And plugging holes is fun, and it's important, chat. So if you have a methodical, planned approach to things, then you don't excessively spend. And I know there's going to be that one guy who's like, but Taki, I've only spent $10 on clothes in the last 50 years, and I just wear the same thing, and it's fine. Yeah, but if you're someone who doesn't do that, or you're someone impulsive who doesn't know what they're doing, they're just throwing money in the bin, don't do that. Have a plan. Approach it methodically. You'll save money overall. You'll look better. you feel better. And your wife slash girlfriend will appreciate it, or your boyfriend slash husband and if you don't have one of those, if you look better and feel better about yourself, you're more likely to find one of those. So it's it's a win, 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 win. Uh, getting into the t-shirts, and I'll finish up on accessories, and I'll talk about accessories a little bit. White t-shirts are important. Again, I used to never wear them, but honestly, just a white t-shirt, pair of jeans, a nice pair of shoes, you are set. And then you can wear any shirt or jacket open over it. Um, and yeah, super versatile. White is a very versatile colour, would recommend. Uh, these are again Uniglo, it's where I get my t-shirts from. I can't, aff as much as I'd like to go full ethical with everything, I can't afford to go full ethical like 30 quid t-shirts. So these are often like, any if you get them in sale, they'll be like four or five pounds. If they're brand new, they're like nine pounds. The fact you can even buy a t-shirt for five pounds or less is kind of fucked up when you think about it. And yeah, children working in sweatshops is bad. So mm. Uh, this is one of their like collections things. I often do collabs. It's got a very simple white print on the back, which I should have taken a picture of, but I mostly wear it with a shirt over it, so you only ever sometimes see the little stitching here. It's nice, it's clean, black uh, shirt with a little pocket. Uh, this is really nice. This is like a brick kind of colour. This shirt, this shirt, and this white shirt with the exaggerated uh, collar. Uh, those three are the most recent things I've purchased, and they were like seven pounds each. I think they're normally like ten. They had a small sale on, and uh, yeah. Also, anyone who watches my stream will remember I went on a random rant a year ago about people wearing t-shirts inside out for an exaggerated uh, like ribbing hem neckline. I don't know the proper word for it. Um, and yeah, Uniqlo decided to incorporate that into their design because they were clearly watching my stream, but no, it's a trend. It looks cool. It makes a normal t-shirt look slightly more interesting because it has this exaggerated bit here. And it's just a really nice colour. And again, it's just a very relaxed boxy fit. This and a nice green. Green, by the way. Just This just is like really chill over a pair of jeans. These and uh, I'll show you the socks. I'll wear them later. And again, it's like you can wear super relaxed, super slouchy outfits, but if stuff is somewhat coordinated-ish, then even if your whole wardrobe only costs like a tenner, but it's a tenner, but stuff kind of works together, then you look presentable, and that's that's good. And people care about the stuff. Uh, this is their like usual Supima cotton shirts. This is what most people wear, but this is just in a really nice minty colour. Um, I have a pair of socks on this exact same colour. Another really nice thing about Uniglo is their socks are amazing. I'll talk about their socks later. But yeah, you can wear a pair of whatever colour jeans you want. I wear grey jeans mostly. It's my neutral jeans. 
grey jeans, socks and t-shirt, same colour, black shoes or white shoes, uh, just like a plain shoe. And you look very presentable, super relaxed, and you haven't actually done anything that fancy. And you'll look way better than some dipshit you spent like 100 quid for an obnoxious shirt. A uh, really nice colour. This works really nicely um, with my denim shirt with the toothpaste stain. If I can bring it up again, where is it? Ch -ch 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 shirts. So this plus this goes really nicely because blue and yellow go really nicely together. You could wear it with then either the black or the brown docks. And then if you want to be exciting, you would then wear it with the pinstripe trousers. Um, these. So you'd be like that plus that plus that. You can also do this as well. And you see how it all kind of works when you plan your stuff together like that. You see that chat? So when you work within color palettes, it all just kind of functions. And one thing you'll notice is this works, but you can also just do the blue jeans with my hickory stripe jacket with the same shirt combo. So I can wear this combo together with either this light blue, this yellow, um, or this white. And that all works really nicely together. And if you do what I did here, you can actually build wardrobes quite easily if you really have no idea what you're doing by going through the colors like this. And I'll do like one or two more at the end, but yeah, this is just like a, a base example. But the white t-shirt will go with everything. And then if you stick to the color palette, then your shirts will go with everything as well. But yeah, little sneaky, sneaky, sneaky strats. What were we looking at? We were looking at t-shirts. We looked at all the t-shirts now. Uh, so now we're going to get into the accessories. Accessories are important, and socks are an accessory, by the way. Um, so this is the jewellery that I have. Um, I recently... I used to wear rings a lot when I was a teenager. This necklace I've had for 10 years. It was a gift from my grandmother. Um, it's a Wolpertinger, uh, Bulvarian folklore. This is a plain silver signet ring, which is all scratched and beat up, which I like. And it gets more scratched and more beat up the more I wear it. And I wear this basically every single day. Uh, this is from the Great Frog. This is a panther ring, which was a gift from my girlfriend, which is also from the Great Frog. This is a really chunky, really fuck off ring. I don't wear this every day because it is very loud. Um, this is when I want to be fancy. And also, so I have this whole weird thing with proportions. This I like if I'm wearing long sleeves. If I'm going for like a really simple fit, like t-shirt, shorts, or like trousers, shoes, then I don't want to like overthrow it with too many accessories. So I'll just go for this one ring and it's fine. And also since I wear glasses, because I'm like blind, that glasses are an accessory. That's the other thing. Before I used to wear glasses, I used to wear my necklace all the time. And when I didn't wear rings, I would and I didn't wear glasses because I didn't need glasses then, I'd wear my necklace all the time and that'd be my one like accessory. But now the more stuff you put on. You don't want to go too crazy with it, um, and you definitely get to a, do get to a point where if I was like to wear all of my rings at once, especially all in the same fucking hand, then it goes from being kind of chill to like that's that's too much. You can kind of get away with that, but I, I've gone down to one most times. Sometimes I wear two, sometimes I wear all three, but yeah, I mostly wear them individually. At the moment, if I want to feel fancy. Uh, but not too fancy, and it's really hot. I wear these two because they're flat and they're kind of minimal. And again, this is like my going out boy. This is the I need to flex on bitches boy. Um, the only bitch I'm flexing on is my girlfriend, though, obviously. Love you, Amy. She's probably the only person watching this video. Um, but yeah, jewelry. Uh, also, I have a pair of sunglasses now. If you're like Pataki, I live in a really hot country. Like, climate is fucked. Like, how the fuck am I meant to dress nicely? Well, you wear a pair of sunglasses. You got like a pair of shorts on. You can tuck it into your belt. I don't like tucking stuff in. And you can just be like relaxed. You know. And uh, just finger guns. And people are like, damn, son. That boy looks. Whoo. I don't think I can get away with wearing these for the rest of the video because I'm recording this at night and it's really dark. But I guess we could see how this goes. I'm probably just going to look blind. All right, now I need to take this off. So, socks. Socks are an accessory. Socks are the most exciting part of the wardrobe. I'm mental for socks. Socks are amazing. 
So, the reason why socks are so cool is that you can get coloured socks, and coloured socks are litty. I get all my coloured socks from Uniglo, and they do, like, you can get four socks, and they're nice socks, they're comfortable, they last a long time, they're good quality, for £9. So what I will do is, I literally go in and I make a colour palette. So, if, for example, I was wearing something with a little bit of red on it, say, for example, like with a red badge, like Levi's often have red badges on it, I'd wear the red socks. Or if I was wearing like an all-black outfit and I wanted to pop, I'd wear that. Um, if you want to go super matchy-matchy, you can do, like, the uh, black suit trousers uh, with these, a black shirt, and then you could wear these with that. That's very matchy. It's very close together. So it's very, like, strong, like, bold bumblebee kind of vibes. Otherwise, I would generally recommend going for like a greys or something. And again, if you're someone who only wears all black, you could wear all black, but just have like a cool sock. And that's like your one pop. Like you don't have to be someone who wears loads of rings or like really loud fucking glasses or anything. Your thing could be the socks, dude. Have a thing. Socks are, socks are legit. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a fun way of building stuff together. And if you're like me and you cuff all of your trousers because you like showing your shoes, then you also get to shut off your socks. And uh, socks are legit. Socks are really legit. And yeah, so that's basically that. Uh, I do think, oh, I also have two bags. So I have two bags that I rotate around. Uh, this is a tote bag. Tote bags are chill. This is yellow. It is corduroy. I like corduroy. It's yellow, you say. Oh, Tarky, you whore. And then I have a uh, rucksack. But yeah, uh, Grill found, Grill had this bag. Or Grill, well, Grill has this bag, and then I stole it from her, and she got pissed that I stole it from her, because we went on holiday, and I was using it a lot, and then she came to visit me, and then she left it here, because she couldn't fit it in a bag. Uh, so then I bought my own one and gave her one back. But yeah, it's great. Tote bags are good. Also, supermarket, you're going shopping. Just have a tote bag on you. You don't need to get a plastic bag. Save the environment, you. Be responsible. You can just keep this rolled up in the bottom of a rucksack, if someone wears a rucksack for work, or whatever. But yeah, just... Have, have reusable bags on you. Don't be using plastics. And this is my rucksack. This looks sick with pew, pew, brown, brown, brown corduroy, white shirt, white socks. Let's build that wardrobe up for you now. So that would be that with... Would also... Browns and blues go quite nicely together. So that would also go nicely with that. Um, if I didn't want to wear the yellow, the yellow would also go nice with the blue. And those are the only two bags I have. So it'd be that, my brown cords, with that plus that, and then we have get into the shirts. You could wear a white t-shirt, but let's get into the actual shirt shirts, which is jackets, accessories. Obviously, oh, let's work out what socks we'd wear. That's exciting. All right, so with this, this, and this, with the brown shoes, I would wear... These would actually go quite nicely if you're going for like full tonal. But I'd probably go for I'd probably go for one of these three, I reckon. I have a shirt in this colour. So like the Oxford shirt in this colour with that boom boom would look litty fam. But yeah. Stuff just kinda just matches if you if you plan it out right. And that's just a close up detailing of the uh, of the bag. But yeah, so that's basically everything that I wear. So if you want to be Tarky, then uh, hit up Uniglo, hit up Stan, Stan Ray, hit, hit up Carhartt. Not sponsored, but sponsor me, boys. And yeah, that's kind of that. Oh, also Great Frog. Um, scuffed Magnus running, by the way. But yeah, so that's basically everything that I wear at the moment. And uh, that was a really fun video, and I hope you all enjoyed it. And that was a 40-minute long video. Fucking hell. So yeah, I'm Tarky. Um... Clothes are interesting. No one watched this to the end. Have a good day. Bye-bye.